So our topic today is why can't I be successful? And it uh, it was spurred on by an email that I got, and I get oftentimes to get emails very similar to this. But it says hello. I don't even see a name here. It was just kind of an anonymous one, but I get a lot of them. It says hello. I am 29 years old, and I feel I can't be successful. I am failing, and I don't know why. Please help me. Well, let me. We're going to aim at that. We're going to unfold some stuff that may be very useful, but there's a few things I want to comment about first. In the letter, it is not specific and it's not, it doesn't flesh out details for me. So I don't, I have to treat it in a more generalized way. First of all, it does not define what successful means. Are you not successful in relationships? You're not successful in money, uh, business. You're not successful health wise. You're not successful in school. You're not successful where, 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 where. All right. So I have to treat this. I mean, my answer is similar regardless of what the perceived unsuccess may be. Now, with most any effort towards success, I see I see two two avenues, two two topics that are important. One of those is the how tos of it. There's lots of books written on all the how to make more money, how to run a business how to be successful in relationships, how to this, how to that, how to something else. There are lots and lots and lots of books that will give you ideas on how to do things. And this is not one of those. This video is not one of these how to do things. Rather, we're going to aim at the what's really in the way of you doing that. (laughs) Okay. And I'm talking about the emotional resistance, the emotional stuff that goes on that literally stops us from success in various areas of our lives. Right. And see, you can read all the how-to books that you want, one after the other. And you can spend <laughs> days, weeks, and months, if not years, reading all these books. But none of them are going to take you much of any place if you are emotionally stuck stopped from doing it you know the how-to book says bullet points do this do this do this do this uh success okay but when you start doing this this you, along the way you go uh, i don't know if i like that i don't i don't want to do that you you end up self-sabotaging yourself and so on and that's because somewhere in the background usually in childhood sometimes even in the womb and our, you know, our advanced training take, takes care of all this, but I'm trying to give you a, a usable avenue to begin here. All right. So it almost always starts back in childhood. Maybe even in, in the womb, if, if mother, if, if pregnant mother is having, um, you know, a lot of stress in her life, uh, if you're an unwanted child and she doesn't want you, even, even try to, to abort you, that happens in some cases. Um, but is also at that time angry, resentful, uh, guilty about other things in her life, not necessarily you with in her womb. The child picks that up. We don't know exactly what the child does with that, but our medical scientists know that the child reacts to all of these emotional things mother does. So. So there may be some stuff clear back in the womb, but I'm not going to talk about that here. That's a little bit more advanced than this video will allow. Uh, but there are many other things that happen in time. The child is, and almost all of us uh, um, experience this, the child is feels rejected, sometimes by parents, by siblings, by teachers, and so on, and and their peers and friends and all that, they feel rejected or abandoned. They feel like something's wrong with them. They they end up with beliefs. A belief, you know, in the financial area might be, well, you know, rich people, you know, they're they're greedy. They step on people. You don't want to be rich. Stay in your own lane. Be who you really are. 
Don't be one of those rich people. Don't do that. Okay. That's bad. Well, okay. If you, if, if that was your input or something like that, as a child, you start, okay, that's bad. That's bad. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a little example of this. I happen to overcome this, but I can remember being 10 years old and I'm sitting at the uh, dinner table and my, my father, uh, who's a blue collar worker, I come from a very blue collar family, uh, working class, lower middle class, however you want to label all of that. He would sit at the table and would complain about things. And one day he was complaining about prices and the price of bread. And he didn't like the price of bread. And I'm sitting there, you know, my father's an authority. I mean, you know, that's uh, every morning I wake up and every night I go to sleep. And during the day I, I see my father and, and, you know, he's an authority to me. I can remember very clearly him leaning across the table, and I'm going to do this in a way so you can see this sort of dramatically. <laughs> he would say, those people with that bread, the manufacturers of it, the corporations, the only thing they care about are their profits. Okay, <laughs> You saw that curled lip. Well, I saw it myself. And that curled lip said, said to me, said to me, whether my father said it or not, it said to me, People who perf who re who uh, pursue profits, oh, something's wrong with it. I don't want to be like that. Okay, now that's a limit. Now I happen to overcome that in a variety of ways, and so on as time went on. But many people don't. They get this inputs over and over and over again. It, it's not just about money. It's about relationships and love and and school and all you know all the things we talked about before. You know, profits. <laughs> I laugh, I smile, but it's not funny because these things are in the way of success. As long as you see yourself in pursuit of whatever success is as unworthy of it, or it's something that's going to taint you or, or uh, affect your, 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 your persona in the world, uh, maybe require or, or cause more rejections and so on. Ooh, you're going to stop doing that. You're going to stop it. It's going to be, it's a very powerful, that's why you can read all the how-to books in the world. And if you come across these stoppers, I will call them, <clears throat> you're going to stop and then you're going to wonder why. Why can't I do the how-to bullet list and, uh, well, here's why. Now, with optimal EFT, and the unseen therapist. And by the way, I have a well. We talked about my book before. I think did I? Did we talk about my book? Just a minute. No, I don't think we did. Anyway, you will see. You will see some essential links at the bottom of this video, and they include a link to my free ebook, The Unseen Therapist, which gives you a, a solid background and foundation and a beginning how-to procedure for all this. It's called the Personal Peace Procedure where you can start unloading these things very efficiently. You can go all beyond that and get, get more advanced training. There's a link for that in essential links. You can get free support in my newsletter and so on. So I would, I would urge you to go that direction and learn more and more and more. But as an overview, what we can do, and it takes a little skill and training to do this, but we go back in time and we start locating things way, way back. Um, where these foundational issues first started, where you got the first, ooh, I don't want to do that kind of thing, or the, the beliefs, where they came from. And we can, we, can, we can discuss those in detail. We call them specific events. Unseen therapists can now come in and start, ah, that belief no longer has to be there. It's no longer limiting. It's no longer a stopper. There may be more than one belief. There probably are. There's another one and another one. But the more you fade these away, the less resistance you have, the more freedom you have to begin to have success, however you define it, in these various ways. Anyway, anyway, I sincerely hope that was helpful. See you next time.